Hi everyone, Marcel back here with The Pulse. I want to talk today about an article that just showed up on NMN.com. It's a featured story and it promises a 30% or a one-third life extension and it's a big breakthrough and it's hyped and they even go down in the article, in the story and talk about how this solution is better than NMN, which got my attention. The fact that a drug company is using NMN as a comparison tool to tout the benefits of their own new pharmaceutical drug, I found very interesting. When I first saw this, I thought, here we are, we, we've got the next NMN, and it's going to be a drug company, and they've used these enhanced or modernized uh, tools of measuring. They're using mRNA to assess, to create a profile, basically, uh, and assess gene activity. So it looks pretty advanced, it reads pretty advanced, and if you look at the company, it's Saragon. Um, it all seems very impressive, and I'm going to put a link to the story, of course, in the description below. First, I want to talk about quickly the audio quality, the voice quality, sound quality of these videos. Yes, I'm using a backup microphone right now. My interface died out of me. Uh, ironically, I worked for that company for 14 years, and the interface died, so I no longer work for them. So I'm going to go back and buy an interface because I do like the sound of the antelope interfaces, even though I no longer am associated with that company. But I had this thing for about eight years and it worked fine, but now it's either get it repaired or get it replaced. And I'm just gonna go out and get a new one. So very soon, the audio quality will be back to a par with the Sure mic in front of my face here. <laughs> We're gonna be back to the quality uh, that we had before. Now I wanna talk about SRN901 which is the pharmaceutical that Saragon touts. Now, they came out last year with a product called uh, Restorin. Restorin is a nutraceutical, which means it's based on the food supply. It is a supplement. And are, they made similar claims last year uh, that it could boost your, improve your lifespan and health span. And SRN901 is based on some of the ingredients already in this Restorin. So theoretically, you could go out and buy Restorin and start to get these touted benefits. However, what I've found out since is that they don't list the exact ingredients in Restorin. They said it's some proprietary NAD booster, among other things. So it's a combo supplement which you, you, if you've watched this channel a while, you know how I feel about combining supplements into one pill and how you can't control your intake or your levels of each, and I'm pretty much against it. And basically testing for purity and freshness, essentially, of these individual supplements in one capsule, you really can't control it. So some of these may degrade in different age or have different shelf lives from one to the next. So combining them into one pill I don't think it's a good idea. Now, I'm not trying to poke holes in this product. I'm not trying to debunk this product. It just so happens it got my attention, as I said, and the more I looked into it, the more holes began to get punched into the story, at least for me. Um, one of them is the actual claim, one third longer lifespan. And then it goes on to say, in middle-aged mice, meaning it's really only a 15% life extension. 15% life extension in mice is something we've heard about like every six months. There's another molecule offering a 15% life extension in mice, but these things don't accumulate. Like you can't add 15 plus 15 plus 15. Nobody's ever gone to my knowledge 30, 40, 50% life extension with mice. There's a limit. And that's why I've always shied away from the longevity or lifespan uh, claims that people make because I'm really just looking to be healthy for as long as I'm here. Don't know if I'm going to live longer from my efforts, but I'm definitely already living healthier. The next thing they talk about is NAD boosting. Well, it turns out there is evidence and also proximity evidence that, they, that their NAD booster is actually NR. So, it's nothing new. And we've looked at the NR versus NMN comparisons, and most people, the energy seems to be behind NMN over NR. So we're already looking at a technology that was popular five to 10 years ago. More recently, NMN has gained a lot more popularity. Um, you pick whichever one you want to take. 
I take NMN. Do Not Age actually offers both. I see very few people ordering NR, very few repeat orders. But again, you take what works for you. That's just my experience from my own proximity. The other thing they talk about are CERT-6 activation. We know about this topic. If you followed this channel and, and Do Not Age's materials, they have a CERT-6 activator that they had the world's first. They talk about senolytics for controlling or minimizing your senescent cells. These are the main things we're already doing. You know, if I had a pulse plan, maybe I'll do a video and call it the pulse plan, where I break down all the things I'm doing. These would all be already included. The only thing is you have control. If you want to try to activate CERT-6, you could do that. If you want to adjust the amount of senolytics you take, you could do that. Uh, if you want to adjust your NAD levels based on test results, you could do, or just your own personal results, you could do that too. So I don't see anything new here. So when I first read this, I saw a lot of hope. Then I read it through a few more times, and then I started to research them, the company, the ingredients, and I began to sort of have this downer feeling like, oh, there's nothing new here. Then I began to become more hopeful because they've done this gene activity testing, and I kind of look at it now as, well, they just added more credence to the protocol I'm already doing. Like, if these are the things they're measuring, these are the things that we're focused on. NAD boosting, sirtuin activation, senolytics. I mean, they might as well throw in some omega-3 oil in there and call it a day, right? Uh, maybe some muscle and bone and joint boosters like creatine, collagen, CAKG. Uh, these are the types of things that we're looking at. Or maybe an mTOR activator like an apigenin or throw in some uh, CoQ10. We've already covered all of these bases, and it is kind of a shotgun approach. Uh, it is something where I've said, well, make sure you have a healthy metabolism, you know, reduce the bad foods you're eating, because if you're going to take these supplements, you want your body to be able to have a, a shot at organizing or going, filtering through them all. Uh, exercise, eat healthy, get a good night's sleep, and live to fight another day. But I don't see anything new here, and as I said, the areas that they concentrate on seem to focus mostly on the things that we're already focusing on as a community. If you look at the longevity community as a whole, these are the things that are coming up more and more often. These are the things that David Seclair has talked about. Now, in regards to David Seclair, Saragon seems to be taking a page out of Seclair's own playbook here. They're taking the nutraceuticals, combining them into one capsule and calling it a proprietary drug. That's exactly what he's tried to do. They're trying to pharmaceuticalize natural ingredients, food supply ingredients, make them a drug. This is a trend. This is the drug industry, as I've said many times, maybe not in secret meetings, but this is the infrastructure of the drug industry. They want to own these natural ingredients and they're gonna introduce drugs that use these nutraceuticals, a fancy word for supplement, dietary supplement. They're just trying to make it sound more medical. And this is kind of another warning shot for those of us in the supplement taking world that the drug industry is coming after us. They wanna give us a pill, they wanna make it a prescription drug, that's going to limit your access to these things, ultimately, as they all fight and wrestle for control over natural ingredients we already have available to us. Recently, some people have asked or questioned, most of you that watch like the content, and I appreciate that. Matter of fact, the last video where I touched upon this is currently still at 100% like rate. So either the people that had a thumbs down, maybe the algorithm, maybe they did that so often, the algorithm is accounting them, because I still can't believe I'm at almost 200 votes and everybody 100% like rate, which I thank you for. I thank you for your comments. There were a lot more positive comments in the last video, which has been a thing. But some people still question my authenticity, um, even question my motives. I question some of their motives, so I guess it's fair game. I've called it agendas, 
like people have conflicting agendas. I've since gone back and looked over the last several videos, and it's true that I've seen the same types of posts over and over again by the same people, the exact same names, the same accounts. And that's what I define as an agenda. If you're just saying the same things over and over again, coming up on the channel, don't have anything to contribute except the same copy and paste, repeat your agenda message. I don't know who you work for. I don't know if you're just someone that's angry, but there is some of that going on. So I warn people not to focus or put too much light on some of the negativity, but just for new viewers to say, hey, you know, keep that in mind. Some of the comments are skewed a certain way. I think the supplement world um, has its pitfalls, has its dangers. The reason I've stuck with mostly one company the entire time I've been taking supplements, almost, it has to do with this mistrust level. It has to do with once you get comfortable with testing procedures, storage procedures, once you get a comfort level and you get a level of success, at least my own perceived success, and then thousands of people chime in, yeah, I kind of, I'm a creature of habit and I'm kind of going along. And I'm consistently sticking with the same sort of approach with minor tweaks along the way. But I'm still open to being swayed. And I do think at some point, this is all going to evolve in a more dramatic way. Like right now, it's been incremental. You know, you, if you, even if you go back 20, 30 years, take vitamin C, take vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, like these things have been around a while. Our understanding of them has evolved, but we're still taking these types of vitamins in our protocol. And the progress that I've seen in five years focusing on the longevity aspects and health span aspects, I've seen incremental things. At least I've approached it that way. When a company comes out here and touts this big momentous occasion, it really gives me pause, especially now, after I just sort of got duped for a moment again, when they're just saying the same things that we've already seen incrementally. It validates what we're doing, kind of puts them in an interesting light, if you ask me. Maybe they were just raising some money. Maybe uh, Saragon just needed a little more market activity, a little more press, and maybe they're selling some stock or something. Folks, I think the protocol that most of us are using by NED boosting, sirtuin activation, senescent cell control or limiting, diet, exercise, good sleep, and maybe don't eat after 6, 7 p.m. If you can't wait till 11 a.m. to eat like I do, at least don't eat at night and reduce your alcohol intake. Those are still, in my view, from my vantage point, the best options. And I see nothing here in Saragon's announcement that would suggest otherwise. So keep up the good fight, and I'll see you guys soon.